guys, welcome back to Clockwork Dandy Dandy Needles for another fantastic episode of Sugar Apple Fairy Tale. I'm saying it way better than I did at the start of the season. It only took me, what, four episodes to get it in one go. Absolutely fantastic episode, guys. I, I am still just reeling off the hype right now of just watching that episode. And I've picked up my recorder and we are recording right now because I've got so much to say about this episode. Before we get going, make sure you guys are subscribed. Very shortly, you're getting my Midway Review. It's already upon us. Can you believe that we are two weeks away from the Midway Review? In this video, I'm going to be crowning my top three OPs, EDs and current standing animes. I'm also going to have some fun little awards. It makes things a little bit more interesting. It also gives me a chance to talk to everybody on the channel just about how I think the season's going because right now everybody watches the videos that they want to watch or they are watching. We don't really do cross viewings. If you're not really watching an anime, you're not likely to go and see episode four of this one because you're not watching it. But it's a chance for me to greet every single noodling on the channel. So thank you guys so much. I hope you would join me on that video. Without further ado, my fairies, let's get going because this episode number four is just packed with so much goodness so many emotions and i love it we're gonna start at the low end let's start at the lowest emotion and giving up i don't need shell anymore because i only had shell because i needed a protector shell is given his wing back and told you know what? you are free you can have your freedom my heart was literally just about shattering in but he is a little bit damp. The moment when Shad is just wet, taking the wing away. This is probably the best I'm going to get this episode. I'm going to take it. Wet Shad. Mm. But the episode kept on giving and giving. He was able to deduce that it was Kathy and Jonas in a joint evil plan together. Humans are humans. I'm used to humans doing this. I'm much more used to humans backstabbing one another. It's just what humans do. So he's able to work out exactly what has happened and deduce that. Whoopsie daisy, we kicked out the wrong fairy. But it is the lowest of the low right now. Sad times and is all on her own. But she has done the right thing. Releasing Shao was the thing that she promised she would do. Any return by this point would have been made by choice. Very similar to Mithril who decides by choice, I'm going to hang out with you. I'm going to stalk you and be the annoying child. Any return by Shao now made, as we have seen, is made purely by choice. And it feels so much better. It's also evening up the ground and it makes me support the union between the two without the bittersweet taste in my mouth because one is a slave. I was really hoping we would adjust that at some point and we did really quickly and it's episode four, which isn't bad. A quarter of the way in and Shal is no more a slave and I'm very happy with that because it now means I can support these two getting together without feeling very bad because I would not have wanted them together if she was still holding any power over him because it's not fair. It's not right. I am so happy that he is now a free fairy and just lets it out. And I'm happy she gets to get it off her chest because sometimes you just need a good scream. You need to let it out. But it does make you wonder where Shell went if he actually heard the full on screaming rant cry thing. She definitely reminds him of the first human. So it definitely was more likely he probably already knew how she was feeling. And he just gave her a bit of alone time just to get it out the system the unexpected fairy birth let's go for our twist now we've gone from low to twist a very weird world where you could just be staring off imagine if you were just staring at a wall daydreaming or you're on the toilet staring at toilet roll and suddenly the toilet roll fairy is born it's a very weird world i would be terrified to be looking at things too deeply but boom yes you're a mum. you're a dad congratulations your toilet roll child has been born with wings a really weird moment but it is obviously the spur of the moment that creates hope the glimmer of hope that ends up being a motivation it motivates her to make a piece then this is the piece that then spurs on the unexpected turnaround which is really nice because it's like a blueberry or a gooseby fairy i like it i do hope we get to see her come back at some point that would be cool her design again very very nice i do have to state that this anime even if you don't like the plot or if you're not enjoying it you've got to admit this anime looks absolutely gorgeous the amount of animation in the eyes and the colors Everything looks so pretty. This anime looks pretty. It sounds pretty. I'm not keen on the OP. I think I've decided now that I don't like the OP, but I do like the ED. This anime just looks the piece. There's so much work that has gone into making this piece look amazing. Shao coming back and stating that he wants to eat sugar was actually a bit of a lie. He isn't actually bothered by eating the sugar and he doesn't even take it anyway. At no point does he take the sugar. He's using it to cheer her up and spur a fire under her. I'm back because you promised to give me sugar. Go and make me something. Making her go back to the kitchen. This is what it feels like. This is how good it feels like to cook for somebody. She decides that she wants to base it on what she's just seen. 
I'm making a piece without being influenced by my mum's cooking. I'm cooking for myself. I literally just saw the birth of a toilet roll fairy. I am making it. This is why I think I started really falling head over heels for him. It's because he just wants her to get back in the kitchen and realise this is how it feels like. This is the important thing is how it feels when you're cooking something. And she puts her heart and soul into making this fairy. For Shao, she's thinking about him. I'm going to base it on what I have just seen. I've seen something so gorgeous. I've seen the birth of a toilet roll fairy. Shao basically lets her cry it out. Then he came back when she was level-headed to kick her into action. He gave her the nudge that she needed. I was very relieved when we finally got her blood-free because the blood-free clothing was making me feel a little bit nauseous. Annoyingly, she has to wear the clothes that Jonas left. She looks like Jonas, but she pulls it off way better than Jonas and hashtag fuck Jonas. But the anime blesses me with the most beautifulest sexiest warmest shell eyes ever as he looks down at the truest piece of art i've made it for you this is my artwork this is for you whoever was the animator for those eyes award for the year best animated eyes ever and of course it is jc stuff and if you want to know why you recognize that moriarty the patriot as much as i don't like the writing on that the soundtrack is like 10 out of 10 and it looks good because jc staff know how to make their characters look good everybody looks good in this anime she put her heart and soul into it this is her being honest and i believe that art if you are really true about your art laying yourself bare on a table and showing somebody this is what i've created anybody who is an artist deserves to be recognized because you are being very brave you are showing the world a part of your soul this is what i create this is me you open yourself up to being criticized which is why initially i was angry at hugh last week and i called it guys i totally called it you, if you watched last week's video i got it right i totally got it right of you you open yourself to be criticized and that's your soul your heart being criticized as anybody who is an artist who creates anything you are doing amazing things shall let's her touch it Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Super jealous Becca right over here. It's quite the awkward but hot scene of just random wing stroking and hoping that Xiao doesn't get too turned on. Isn't the wing their very soul and she's touching his soul right now? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. <coughs> just choking very clever sly chal i called it he made her make something from her heart now you made this from your heart you can enter it even if you don't win give it a shot because he knows what he's doing he's trying to get her back into the game he's trying to get her fired up very clever shall you knew what you're doing from the start i love you and i literally love you so much right now the moment when he says let's be friends oh i think i got something in my eye i really felt like i had something in my eye man it was just so sad i was so happy it be friends and him smiling the anime gods were gracing me with so much i felt like i was gonna have a heart attack of how much sugar i was getting this is the sugar anime i was so happy guys i'm sorry let me just gush for a minute he's hot guys i know what i said about him last week and i totally called it didn't i say that i felt like he was going to be a very important character him knowing what each piece of the art looked like tasted that artwork we find out exactly why he was in a position to give criticism this week because lo and behold he is the head chef basically sitting in the position that Anne wants oh my god he is the royal head chef look at that and he's hot right now <laughs> i called it hashtag fuck jonas i did put right here i want to see jonas decked by somebody, don't mind who it is. If it happens, I'm going to crown this anime of the season. Oh my god. Do I stay by what I just said? Do I now have to crown this anime of the season because of that punch? Because I do get exactly what I wanted, guys. My hatred for Jonas at this point was just raging. The smug look on his face. He doesn't even care what he's done. He's standing there in front of the king. In front of a piece he knows isn't his. In front of the person he knows who made it. He is a horrible character. I hate him. And he doesn't feel shame at any point. Like, even when he's been decked on the floor and he's got a nosebleed. At no point point does that boy feel shame he doesn't care about what he's done so happy that we don't only just deck him this week we humiliate him in front of the king we humiliate him in front of everybody the king knows that this guy is a fraud so happy and hugh going all the way to humiliate them and set out that task he knew he wouldn't be able to create the replica because he knew it was her piece he knew who made that piece anyways if you're a tutor and you see two students and suddenly their work changes, you know exactly who's done what because you're familiar with how they work. I do forgive him for his criticisms last week. I do stand by it. Don't give criticisms out unless somebody has asked you for criticisms. It's still quite rude, but he is forgiven and this anime is full of really hot men and women. It's not about size, but how you sculpt it. The piece that Anne created, the fairy, is absolutely stunning. So detailed. And to be fair, sometimes working on a smaller scale is even more difficult. Making something look neat and tidy 
on such a small scale is really hard. And I find painting on a really tiny scale really hard. Kudos, I think it's a beautiful piece. I think she did very well to get called forward basically twice. We in the audience know that Anne really is a true winner because both the pieces she made got called forward by the king. So we know she's the real winner here. I also absolutely love the colours of her main piece, the big one, which Jonas stole. I love that piece. I think it's gorgeous. I love the colours. I love the new butterfly she makes as well, because obviously that butterfly was based on shall. That is love. That You can't beat true emotions which are being poured into artwork. But yeah, hashtag fuck Jonas is back. Hashtag we love me through. I am so happy he's back. I'm also happy that he literally humiliates Jonas right there and go, he's a slave driver. Absolutely hilarious because this is just embarrassment. Right in front of the king calling Jonas out, it gets blown out that she knows him. It does enough to set up a competition to put them both in action to also show that Anne really is just amazing at making artwork. Absolutely hilarious seeing Jonas's face when he suddenly told it's okay you made that piece before you can make it again yeah go make those butterflies Jonas screw you scumbag Jonas get in the bin that's what I think about you the panic on his face was just sweet Mwah. chef's kiss meh not for him though I'm not kissing him Jonas get in the bin you deserve it that's where you live I really hope we don't get to see him again at any point I don't want to have like another eight episodes of seeing Jonas's smug face I think we are getting a new character next week but Anne absolutely outdoes herself the person who made the piece is not here that is true Anne has leveled up she makes a piece even better than the piece she made before she is no longer the artist she was before if you were to create a piece that you drew two years ago the piece will look different. It will look better. You will evolve. Naturally, Anne levels up. She's creating it with Shao's wing in mind. She's creating it with something she's experienced. She's no longer camping her mum's artwork. She's doing it herself. She's making a butterfly based on her experiences with Shao's heart. She excels so much that the piece is even better. The person who made the piece that Jonas stole is no longer here anymore. Jonas just gets absolutely humiliated and crushed. Anyone could see that it's not him. And the fact that Hugh's like, we're not even going to mention it. Anne basically has leveled up and bec become a true artist with herself. And I really can't wait to see what she makes in a year. It's going to be insane. Like I just said, if you were to redraw a picture you did a year ago, it's going to look better. You're going to have more experience behind you. Practice makes perfect. Anime of the season, maybe because of that slap. I did state that, you know, if I get the Jonas decked on the floor I would give it that award we're gonna have to see if I live up to my promise now aren't we because oh my goodness the amount of happiness I don't advocate violence but this character deserved it and it felt so good hearing the slap seeing it connect seeing how much relief and stress is just off her shoulders because he still doesn't care so it feels even better knowing that he's now humiliated everybody in the kingdom knows that this is the guy who cheated this is the guy who lied in front of the king and the king knows your name it's more damage than he could have possibly done on his own such a good moment that might have been my best moment of the season so far i don't think any other anime right now has made me feel that way that's it she does one and that's it she says i feel great husband of the season maybe my boy shall i love you so much he secured another year with her and he knew what he was doing guys he knew what he was saying he didn't care about what the sugar she was making i think he really is just becoming attached to her because she does remind him of the first human she's proof to him that she's different i've given you your wing back you can be free but he's chosen to stay with her and he sees potential art is about showing your heart to another person and anna's done this and he's seen that and i guess if anything it's fair that she got to stroke his heart because she was showing him her heart it's been such a roller coaster this week this episode is just truly amazing i'm so happy i'm watching it i'm also so happy i chose to break it down with you guys because it's great it's also doing amazing on the channel even though the initial die down has happened it's still doubling what any other anime on the channel was getting and to your eternity is struggling to keep up but they tried this week they really tried they got like 150 views but you guys were powering ahead at like 300 you guys still win but they were trying bring on the romance we don't need slaves this anime made me hyperventilate i don't know i was like squealing and excited and he kissed her hand and i was screaming and i was blushing it's a good thing i don't do live reviews rest in peace have been users supersonic is it what's, what's the word when you have a sound that is it's so high you can't hear it that was me if i was like recording you guys would have been deafened you would have seen me just screaming blushing wiggling around and it would have been embarrassing so thank god i wasn't live streaming my goodness when he kissed her hand <laughs> i was like hot under the collar going oh my goodness i am in for such a great anime i can't wait to see where we go next it's been a fantastic 
episode. I am so happy. There's been amazing moments. It's only four episodes and the amount of emotion I felt when she hit Jonas. That is a good story. If you are able to feel something after a little bit of writing, the writers have done their job, giving you a story in a way that you feel emotion. If you are feeling the anime is making you feel things, if even if it's anger, if you feel angry at an anime, it's doing something, it's making you think and it's a piece of art that somebody has done to make you feel in a certain way. And this anime is doing that for me. Love this week's episode. I can't wait to see where we go. A little worried that we have got this art quickly done. The whole story is ahead of us now. We've got to get Anne in a position to win a competition. How is she going to win next time? How are we going to rise above Jonas? What's going to happen with him? Is he going to come back? Who is she going to meet along the way? You know, there's so much now that she needs to do. And how is the relationship with Xiao going to deepen? How are they going to turn into more than just friends? Lots to think about. Thank you for tuning in, guys. I hope you're having a great week. I look forward to seeing you next week, guys. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.